Okay, so I'm 3 1 and lost to a very good Mono Terra deck. Now I'm fighting a Contagion Lord. So, uh, I'm probably just going to play Pulse Mage and Gluber, for which they're the best standalone cards in my hand. And I'll block the. Uh, do I want to throw away my Glimmer Witch if he has Group Meal? Yeah, I'm fine with that. So also trades with it if he doesn't have Group Meal. If he does have Group Meal, that's whatever. He, he gets me. But I, don't, I only have one card with seven power in my deck, which is the Vault Intruder. Oh no, I have a uh, Zithian Rock King too, right? Right? Where is it? Yeah, I've got one Zithian Rock. So I only have two creatures. With um, yeah, that's fine. Looks like I'm taking a little damage here. Uh, I wonder what I shrink. I can shrink the Wrathbane to just do two extra damage to it. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Uh, I might shrink whatever's... No, there's no way he doesn't... Barrier Soldier... Doesn't matter. He's got one more play, right? Steel Skin Splunker. So I can't... I can't shrink that and help my creature out. So let's play... Um, Pulse Mage, shrinking this so it lives an extra turn. Uh, I get to play Flesh Fiend in the center lane and then Ordnance Captain to pump all my creatures. This kills his uh, Steel Skin Splunker and it kills his Rot as well. And his Barrier Soldier. Hopefully. Uh, and then I get to cast another Gloomer Witch because I've already played a Pulse Mage. I'm definitely casting Gloomer Witch, I just don't know what else I'm playing. Maybe Weld Intruder? Vault Intruder is definitely the best card in my hand. I shouldn't allow myself to get influenced by wanting to play Infernal Visage. Yeah, I think it's definitely better to play Glimmer of Witch and Vault Intruder. I have a lot of debuff in my deck, so Glimmer of Witch is going to be quite strong. So these trade, these, uh, this dies, so currently the board is just going to be two of my creatures. So let's see what he has, because he was on the play, so it means he's got a one less leveled card in his deck, but he gets to play level 2 cards first. It's always better to be on the play. Uh, so I can kill that with Glimmer Witch. Uh, I usually will, just because I don't want to leave it around for Grave Pact. Uh, it makes Grave Pact really easy, which is not a good thing. Unfortunately, I can't really block it. Okay, so I can't even kill it with Grave uh, so this lives. He's trade. <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm not gonna. I can block the Death Seeker with Gloom Reaper Witch, and then. Well, I guess I could do it with the Vault Intruder, would be a little better. So block the Vault Intruder here, see what his hand is. He's got a Contagion. Another Contagion Lord? Jeez. <laughs> That's, so his, his turn is gonna be Rot Fiend Contagion Lord. Uh, so he puts Rob Fiend here and Contagion Lord anywhere. Um, so I guess I play... I just kill his off kill off his damaged uh, Abomination, so I don't want to leave that in play. Borg Battalion, not that great. Uh, since I can't block anything, but it's... I'm probably going to play Rob Fiend and Borg Battalion. Uh, Rob Fiend in front of the Contagion Lord. <clears throat> Side lane Contagion Lord? I haven't seen an Infernal Visage yet. That doesn't mean he doesn't have one. Okay, he chose to play the worst Abomination. That is an interesting choice. It doesn't even do anything here. Like, oh, what is the benefit to playing Contagion Fiend over the the seven eight? If he played the seven eight, it would be still be on the board, and it would be doing. It would like he could sacrifice it next turn if he really wanted to. But now, like since he played Contagion Fiend, I get the battle. And the Contagion being kills my... It doesn't even kill my Ordnance Captain? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Uh, that was just very poor. Very poor play from him. Uh, I'll play Bulwark Battalion in this side lane. Because I want formation. Do I have any center lane cards right now leveled? I don't think I do. I've got Ordnance Captain. Yeah, I have no, I have no center lane cards leveled. So I'll just play Bulwark Battalion in the center lane. Because uh, this will die and I want formation. <clears throat> then play Rot Fiend and give it armor, and then the armor disappears. This is the end of my turn. <laughs> Best draw I could draw would probably be Ordnance Captain, followed closely by, I guess, Gloomer Witch. Gloomer Witch is pretty good. Uh, if the Contagion Lord somehow lives, though if it lives, it's probably not going to have 4 power. 
So he sacrifices it right off the bat. No, no surprise there. Uh, drawing the Pulse Mage is actually, I think, the best thing I've got. So he plays his own Rod Fiend, which is good. Uh, I could ignore that for now and then block it later. Mm, what's his third spell? Okay, so he's got two armor on this creature. Unfortunately, can't really do anything about that. I can replace my Bulwark Battalion and play Nexus Tactician, which keeps my Rod Fiend alive, but that, I don't know, it doesn't seem very good. I'd probably rather play the Glimmer Witch and then the Steel Skin Spelunker. Spelunker in the side lane. I'm just playing Glimmer Witch so I can kill his 8-8. I don't really have anything that deals with 8-8s effectively. Um, am I blocking this Fiend with a, a Spelunker, though? It goes to 6 power. That's not very much. Hmm. Four does two damage, then does two damage again. I guess it's a little better to just block or to uh. I've got to have an eight toughness creature, right? Flesh bean, yeah, okay. Well, seven toughness even works. So I've got flesh bean, rich, ossuary spirit, <laughs> uh, spear level trader. I've got a lot of six bar creatures. I don't want to throw away a five six. Uh, to kill a, a one toughness creature, a six one. Oh, I should have played the Steel Skin Blanker before combat. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, if he plays a what three power creature to kill it, it matters. Uh, if I play this Splunker here, I can draw Scourge Knights and have a uh, formation. Or uh, Ordnance Captain. Either one works. So, uh. I kind of want to play Pulse Mage without any damage on her. That way I don't have to shrink the creature in front of her over and over again. So maybe I'll just play Pulse Mage and then Steel Skin Splunker and just keep taking 7. I'll, I'll block the Steel Skin Splunker this time. I didn't draw it. I don't want to take a billion damage. It would have been much cleaner if I would have drawn a Flesh Fiend, Guardian, Witch. Something I wanted didn't really care if it got damaged. But I don't want to, I don't want to damage the Pulse Mage, I don't think. That card's really important. Helps me dictate combat a lot. Okay, so there's a Vault Intruder. Gets to see my hand. Which I don't think matters too much. I could play Palladium Wave this turn, but... Is that even good? So he moves the Sky Knight Glider in front of him, which... No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to cast Palladium Wave because it stops his Vault Strider from killing my Witch immediately. And it stops the Vault Intruder from killing my Steel Skin Splunker, and I could, I'll just block the, uh, the Rot Fiend now because it's only got 2 power, which 810 is still fine. I'm not sure why I didn't kill my Glimmer of Witch with Skynag later. Okay, cool. And he has to block 9 more damage, and I can Glimmer of Witch pretty much anything with Pulse Mage. Any creature with 12 or less power. So I can even kill his Rot Fiends. And the Contagion Lords. Contagion Lords super important to kill. If he plays one this turn, I just get to destroy it. Uh, even if it only has three health, it gives him an extra spell. So I don't want I don't want him to have it. Though it might be better for me to point my cards elsewhere. Yeah, uh, definitely not. <laughs> he didn't play anything worth killing. So let's play Rot Fiend. Yeah, Rot Fiend. So shrink this. Um, play. Rot Fiend in front of this 5-6, and Glimmer Witch in front of the 3-2. And kill off his Contagion Lord, so he doesn't get to play an extra spell. And then I've got Infernal Visage to keep my Pulse Mage alive, but probably dies this turn, because he's got a level 2 Rot Fiend, which kills it. Uh, though if he had two level 2 Rot Fiends, he'd be a lot better off. I'm just saying. <laughs> the Barrier Soldier kills it too. Uh, I can pick that to kill up with Scourge Knights. And then play um, Forge Guardian Alpha, I guess. Forge Guardian Alpha is a little better than Ospreay Spirit. It has a lot more uh, power. Yeah, I guess it's the best card to level my hand, too. 
So play that there, play Scourge Knights here, because I don't, I don't really want to trade Scourge Knights for 4 damage on a 5-6. <laughs> I'd rather him block it with a level 2 if he can. <clears throat> so Gloomer Witch to kill that for free, or maybe something else, because I've got a Palladium Wave in my hand. So if you play something really strong, this is minus 6 right now, so I can kill anything with 13 or less power. That kills a good portion of my board, actually. But he's... I don't know. It's like an Epidemic. Epidemic's a good card. Contagion Lord. So I can't even kill that with Glimmer Witch combos, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, what I can kill is... This... Uh, Ordnance Captain. And then deal 7 to him, and then block with Forgerian Alpha, because I don't, I don't have anything else that <laughs> blocks... I could have blocked with the Glimmer Witch to throw that in a trade, but if he wants to play an extra spell, he has to sacrifice it. And I'm putting 8 damage on it, which is a lot of damage. I can pick it up with another 7 or 8 damage creature, uh, which I drew 2 of. I've got the Spelunker and the Zombie Knights. Uh, can't kill that card with anything. I guess does it, it doesn't even die to Scourge Knights. Scourge Knights is only minus 4, minus 4. Uh, so he sacrifices the first one to the the Contagion Lord. So now he can sacrifice the second one and play a bunch of spells, which is going to be super threatening. Um, probably blocks... How many level 3s does he have? Oh my goodness, he has a lot of level 3s. Well, uh, at least I can kill his uh, Spelunker, so I get to keep my Glimmer for watching around. And it looks like he's not sacrificing his Contagion Lord because he already has everything he needs. Uh, so let's kill this... Uh, shrink his Steel Skin Splunker to kill it, and then, you know, kill, go to combat. I only get to do 4 damage to this Barrier Soldier, so I have to block it with something with 15, which I uh, barely didn't draw any of. I don't think I have very many left, right? I, okay, I'll just have the Glimmer Witch and the the Rock Fiend. So it's not too surprising I didn't draw anything. Uh, though the, I've got what, Plating Wave and a Glimmer Witch left? That's kind of cool. I have Palladium Wave, so the late game does favor me uh, if we want to just stall it out. This seems a very odd Contagion feat to me. <laughs> does he not have a creature with 5 power? <laughs> he just wants to give my creatures minus 1, minus 1? I don't know, it's super odd. Okay, I don't know. That can't have been the best play in his hand, right? Right? So Flesh Fiend blocks this twice and does, what, 4 plus 2, 6 damage to it? It's not very much. Might be better just to play the Vault Intruder to deal a bunch of damage to it. Uh, th leaves it at 3 and then kill it with the Flesh Fiend. Uh, that way it's dead and gone and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, and he's only got an Ordnance Captain and a Death Seeker. Uh, so he gets the easy Ordnance Captain. So now he can cast his Death Seeker in the side lane. I don't really care about Death Seeker though. It's what, level 2? Glimmer Witch can kill the Progeny of Zith if I want to. This hand's actually really bad. Uh, I don't really have anything worth playing other than the Glimmer Witch. It would have been nice to draw even Ordnance Captain of Warwick Battalion. So he plays Ordnance Captain and gives this creatures plus 3 plus 0, uh, which doesn't affect this trade. This one still dies. And then I can kill. I'm not sure. I wish I had... Uh, if I had a battle tech adventure, I would play it here. Because it, it would kill this, shrink this, and I would kill it. Uh, but I don't have a battle tech adventure. So... Let's play Nerali Symbiote here. And then Gloomer for Witch on top of Ordnance Captain. Post-combat? No, pre-combat. Because I'm fine trading Flesh Fiend for a level 3 Progeny. I didn't get there. That's fine. I'm at a really high life total. Uh, I drew both my Palladium Waves in the first hand at rank 3, which is not great, because I have board control right now. Palladium Waves are really good when you don't have board control, but when you do have board control, you don't really want to draw it. Uh, so, he's playing a lot of Abominations. What I can do this turn is cast... Um, I guess a Bulwark Battalion and Pulse Mage? 
Leveling up a Bulwark Battalion, I think, is good. Pulse Mage, Flame Mage doesn't do a whole lot here. It does eliminate the attack of a lot of his creatures. It doesn't save my uh, my Necreum thing, though. What is this called? Gnarly Symbiote? So I don't really want to do that. So let's play Battalion here, just eat his zombie, or eat his uh, creature. And then play Pulse Mage to force him to uh, trade or sacrifice his lord. No, actually, maybe I should just play. I shouldn't have played Pulse Mage there. I should have just played Pulse Mage in front of the Spirit or the, the Progeny. Yeah, I think that would have been better. Because he's going to sacrifice the Progeny and then hopefully, probably play another Abomination since so he seems to draft a lot of them. Oh, second Contagion Lord? Okay. So he's probably fine with the trade now. So trade here, trade here. He's, or he could just sacrifice it. I don't know if he would, though. It's 14 damage on 15 toughest creature. It's probably better than the spell he's going to play. Almost assuredly better than the spell he's going to play. What's weird is I don't have any good places to put Steel Skin Spunker. Oh, and give it arm and give armor away. So he sacrifices. Wait, he just sacrificed the fiend. I mean, that's probably fine. Yeah, he gets to level more cards this way. Okay, he's got. I don't even know how many spells he has left. One, two, three more maybe. Uh, so I actually, actually managed to get a good pulse mage <laughs> or a good uh, a good spelunker somehow. So what I do is, this gives minus 12, I block here because I get 6 armor, Flesh Lane has a billion armor, uh, this gives minus 12 so I can threaten a lot of damage on the Contagion Lord but not, not quite lethal, and then cast Flesh Fiend in the sideline, okay, yeah that's fine. I get to do 12 damage to his uh, Spirit Token. 8 damage to the Rot Vein, so I can block it with any of my little small creatures. Of which there aren't any, but you never know. Probably going to block the Glimmer Witch on the Contagion Lord, assuming he doesn't sacrifice it. I wish I had a Hallow's If. Hallow's If would be super strong in my deck, because I, I, I have the potential to go so late game. Uh, 4 armor to that. That's fine, it still blocks. It still dies in Raleigh Symbiote. Because 8, and then it goes down to. Actually, it doesn't die in Raleigh Symbiote. Maybe it's not fine. <laughs> Guess I can't count, because it's at, what, 19 right now? I do 12 of it. It goes down to uh, 7? But then 7 plus 4 is 11, so it's not quite enough damage. Symbiote does block his, uh, his Rot Vein, though. Or it uh, doesn't. I wish I had... A, I, I can kill his... Spelunker with a battle suit. But he has two Contagion Lords, which is why he's always playing level 3 cards. Like He's leveled so many cards in his deck, it's so hard for you to compete with. Um, I can't kill anything with a Gloomer Witch either. <laughs> so I played Battle Tech Inventor and Gloomer Witch, killing his... Uh, uh, kill, blocking the Glimmer, the Spirit Token Glimmer Witch and killing the Ordnance Captain, I think is the best play I've got. It's because this kills three of his creatures. The, every other play only kills two of them. <laughs> this hand is uh, <laughs> not not gonna win me any any awards, that's for sure. Well, I get to put two level two cards in my deck. What are the best ones? Probably Nexus Tactician and Spirit Soul Trader. Nexus Tentation is actually really good in these super grindy games. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I guess uh, if I only got 4 power and 3 power creatures in my hand, it's better to play uh, the creatures that level well. And then I'll, Saruman's time has uh, gone away. I don't think it can do anything. Though it's probably better than Spirit Soul Trade at this point. I've got one Ordnance Captain, I believe, leveled up. Where is he? No, I don't have, I have zero Ordnance Captains to level up. Interesting. Do I really only have one Ordnance Captain in my deck? I thought I had two. Oh well. So I guess Saruman's slightly better than Spirit Soul Trader because I've got a lot of... Uh, I already leveled a Battle Tech Inventor. I've got a lot of Pulse Mages. But this is why I said Palladium Wave is like really bad to draw on both cards. But when I had board control then... 
because now I'm uh, in quite a pickle. Looks like I'm casting Ordnance Captain and Scourge Knights. Scourge Knights kills his barrier soldier. And then I can shrink. Uh, I'm not sure what I shrink. Maybe the uh, maybe the Sky Knight Glider. Just so I can block it twice. Or have my Ordnance Captain live. Because it's minus 6. Yeah, I think this is the best one I've got. Okay, Drew Palladium Wave, that's really good. 5 times 2 is 10, so I can reduce this creature's power to almost nothing. Uh, which is going to be a lot stronger than playing my two level two, 3 cards, because he's going to play two more creatures this turn. And reducing their power to almost all 0 is going to be way better than uh, casting a bunch of cards that only kill two creatures. I wish I had some barrier soldiers. I'll probably pass some in the draft, I don't really remember the draft that well. Uh, so let's play Palladium Wave, shrink all his guys, and then play Bulwark Battalion, because it lets me block a lot easier. Um, we'll block the side lane card, because uh, this only does 3 to me, and it blocks his formation. Whereas if I killed that, he would still be able to form me. Or formation, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, Star Maiden seems fine here, though not amazing. He probably sacrifices his Contagion Lord to play more cards. Because he's allowed to do that, but I, I can't ever play more cards. I've only got two a turn. Gotta make the most of them. This has 12 toughness at rank 3? Huh, interesting. It doesn't do a whole lot. But, okay. I'm surprised he didn't sacrifice. Did he sacrifice it? Or was that combat? I think that was combat. So, Battletech Inventor on my Flesh Bean. Played a lot of bad cards. Oh, sick! That was his turn. Uh, I get to kill his creatures with Vault Intruder and then Pulse Mage. Yeah, Pul I think Pulse Mage is the play. Please don't have level threes. Uh, Sky Glider and Abomination. Those are like the hugest level threes known to man. Um, well, the least I could do is stop his Sky Knight Glider from gaining mobility, so I actually have a shot at blocking it. At the same time, I'm taking like way more damage this way, so I guess I can't really do that appropriately. I can shrink it next turn. Really, 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 really low. Ooh, wow. Glimmer Witch plus Pulse Mage lets me kill his uh, Sky Knight Glider. I can give it minus 12, which puts it down to 4, and then Glimmer Witch block his Ordnance Captain and hit the guy. Have I already drawn the other Pulse? No, but we're ranking up, so I'll be fine. Flesh Fiend's been over here, we're just grinding away. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't get the armor, so I don't get to save the damage on my uh, Glimmer Witch. But I think it's still fine, because you know I get to do so much work here with these cards. And Flesh Fiend blocks his creature forever. Like It, it kills it the first time, then it comes back, and it'll be an 8-8. Oh, I actually won? That was lethal? Nice! Nice! Man, that game was really close. Double Contagion Lord makes it really hard to win. Even though my opponent was playing kind of, uh, kind of loose. Whew, that was rough. Okay, so I'm 4-1 now, I believe? Going for the 7-0.